this is McFly Angler. starts now. This fly requires a fairly long shank nip hook like these 5262s from Risen Fly. Place the hook securely in your vise. Then you will need some thin lead wire, 0 .010 size to be exact, and I like to put it in a bobbin holder to make the application easier. Start the wire at the back of the hook. I like to make 9 touching wraps up the hook shank, then make 9 more back over those wraps. However, the wire can break if you pull too hard. That's okay, just start the wire again to finish up with 3 more wraps over everything. This makes a small ball of lead, with a total of 20-21 to 21 wraps of lead. Then push this together to make a firm ball, and scoot it back to the rear of the hook like so. For thread I like this Vivas 10 knot. Today I'm using brown. But you can use any thread of 6 aught size or smaller in any color you choose. Start your thread in the middle of the hook somewhere. The exact position doesn't really matter. But do not cut or break off the tag end just yet. I use it to help jump over the lead bump. Then cut off the thread and keep making wraps around the lead ball, building a bit of a thread taper to smooth out the transition from the lead bump to the hook like so. To make the fly more durable, I add super glue, and I find that the brush on stuff like this Loctite makes applying easier. Brush over the top of the hook and lead bump to just shy the eye of the hook. Now we will need some ultra micro chenille. Today I am using tan, and a cutting about this size can make one to two flies. This chenille comes in a wide variety of colors, and from many different vendors. So get creative and tie this in whatever color combo you would like. Tie in just the tip of the chenille right behind the lead bump like so. Then advance your thread up to about a hook eye length shy of the eye of the hook. Then proceed to start making touching wraps up the hook shank with the chenille. If you have a rotary vise, you can use that feature. However, I find hand wrapping the chenille for the first few wraps over the lead bump helps me control the chenille more and keeps it wrapped tightly. Once I pass the lead bump, then I use the rotary feature to finish wrapping the chenille. Stop a little shy of the hook eye and then capture the chenille with a few tight wraps. Also, pull it back and make a few wraps in front. Once the chenille is secure, then cut off the waist and make multiple tight wraps to clean up and smooth out the head. And with your thread right behind the hook eye. Now we need one medium sized round rubber leg. Fold the leg in half and align the tips to prepare for tie-in. Now these centipede legs from Montana Fly Company are great. They come in a wide range of colors with speckled barring, which seems to add just a little extra to this fly. Now you can use some micro silly legs like these, which also work great, but I find them to break off more often and be less durable. So it's up to you. Once the legs are folded in half, tie them in right in the center of the legs like so. Tie in from the eye of the hook back to about the start of the chenille wraps. Then separate the legs slightly and bring the forward facing legs rearward and tie them in between the splayed out rearward facing legs. This ensures that there are four rubber legs evenly sticking out in the rear of the fly. Then clean up and smooth out the head with multiple wraps. Now you can whip finish the fly. When whip finishing, always whip finish from rear to front, which will help make the whip finish more secure and more smooth. After snipping off the thread, then use your scissors to cut the loop of the center part of the rubber legs. Then softly pull back the legs and cut them flush to the back of the fly. For the finishing touch, I like to paint on some of this Solarez UV curing resin at the head of the fly. It makes the fly more durable and also gives it a nice glossy finished look. This is a very simple fly and it's one of my favorites to tie and use for perch or other small fish like sunfish. It will also be eaten by bass, cichlids, and other still water or warm water fish. The reason why this fly works so well is that the lead in the tail section makes this fly sink with the rubber legs fluttering above it like so. It drives the sunfish crazy. As you all know, I work closely with both Dooley's Fly Fishing and Risen Fly. www.risenfly.com offers a wide range of their own branded hooks, tools, materials, and even fly fishing gear like rods and reels. Everything they offer is very high quality, but priced much better than any other brands out there. They have great customer service, and I personally use all their gear for my own fishing and tying, and I even use their hooks and tools for this fly. 
For fly tying materials that Risen does not carry, I go to www.dualiesflyfishing.com. They offer all the name brand materials at excellent prices. Just like Risen Fly, they have excellent customer service, and both of these companies are offering all of my subscribers a discount. So type in McFly at checkout to get 15% off of anything you buy at either of these online shops. Well, thank you for watching. If you could please do me a favor and hit that like button, and also subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.